Hello everyone, welcome to Hunt Electronics and this is your friend Saqib and in today's technical session we are going to just learn about uh, LED electronic gyro okay so basically uh, gyro it works on a centrifugal force when you rotate it okay it starts uh, uh, giving a good uh, uh, output in terms of glowing of LED and uh, rotating motions over here so I've got an electronic gallery, uh, gyro DIY kit over here so uh, let us open the kit and just uh, go through what content it has got Okay, so basically the circuit on the gyro is nothing but it is a, a stable multi vibrator which has got a four LEDs uh, six resistor two transistors two capacitors over here and most important one vibrator switch Okay, so when uh, there is a centrifugal force for a uh, uh, LED gyro so the vibrator switch gets activated and it will turn on the circuitry over here so my dear friends you can see this is a vibrator switch over here okay very delicate over here uh, yes you've got four different LEDs and yeah two battery holder and this so if you look towards the circuitry what is the best thing over here you can see the two batteries are placed uh, opposite to each other which maintain the balance at one side you will find all the sensor vibrator sensor to transistor placement and other side you will find the LED so it has got a well balanced over here so when you give the rotation uh, so when you apply the centrifugal force over here and it will start rotating so that it should have a good balance over here and it should be rotating very nicely over here so uh, let us start with the assembling okay as uh, already I have told you what is the rule of a soldering so the smallest component should uh, be placed first and then followed by the bigger component over here so again the solid so, uh, smallest component over here it is a resistor over here so we'll go according to that so on the DIY kit you can see here they have given here R1, R3 all each and everything is given over here so you can see here R3, R3 is nothing but a 1 mega ohm resistor over here so if you have got a doubt and if you are unable to guess a proper color code you can use a multimeter over here so let me check this up to 1 mega yeah this is one make home resistor you can see so that is nothing but uh, your r3 for this particular diy kit you should have a uh, good soldering skills then r3 and r4 are one mega ohm you can see here r3 and r4 one mega Then you have got 1k resistor over here. So this I've got a 4 1k resistor. this is a vibrator sensor over here so I think so we have done with uh, each and everything over here okay so the most important there are two batteries which are not included in the package that is very important over here so I have got it separately so I got the two batteries before battery you can see this uh, we have to apply this over here so where the gyro is going to get rotated and
okay my dear friends you can see now we have finished with all the soldering stuff and again once again you can see the both the batteries are placed opposite to each other which is very nicely balanced one side you will get all the leds and another side you will get a stable uh, transistor resistor and a sensor so when this is in the centrifugal force over here the sensor will be turned on okay so let us turn on the power So my dear friends, you can see that uh, we have done with all, I have even placed the batteries over here and when you turn it around, it will start giving it, okay. So let me turn off the light first. Okay, let us see how it looks. Oh, it looks beautiful.